It's also package day. We are feeling very blessed because Vogel bought the box upstairs for us. Because, oh my lord, it is so heavy. <laughs> The plan is that we're gonna get everything out of the box and lay it out onto the floor so we can have a look at the goodies and then we'll look through the items one by one. We're also gonna be including this package in there too because it's part of the same order and a disclaimer to say that not everything in this box is for me. Cause I mean, honestly, I don't need that many journals. She says with all of her journals. <laughs> These ones don't count. But here we are getting everything out of the box and laying it on to the floor. And I am super glad that I decided to tidy up my office before doing this because yeah, there's a bit. I'm already tired. <laughs> of course, just a reminder for any of your orders at Archer and Olive, you can use my code JASHIKARIN10 to get yourself 10% off. We love savings. Let's unbox the goodies. We're really only going to focus on the journals that I'm adding to my collection, but we'll also talk about the ones that are going to be finding a new home. You will have seen that some of the things on the floor were duplicates, so we're not going to open every single one, obviously. And as mentioned, some of them aren't for me, so we won't be opening those, but for the ones that I do have a version of, we can do a pretend unboxing. The first category of items we have are badges. Most of these do look the same, and they are my design team badge. Oh, so exciting. <laughs> Another one that came in the pack was this one that we ordered for Vogel, but you can kind of see what it looks like without the plastic glare. <laughs> so it's a little conical flask with a little rainbow wave in it. We of course have the little purple heart and some little bubbles. I think it's pretty cute. If we flip it over, you can see it has an individual pin and there's a little blurb on the back that they got me to write about my sources of inspiration or things that give me inspiration. Feel free to pause and have a snoop at that one. Of course, my badge is actually sold out now, but in the comments, let me know if you were able to snag one. And if you didn't, would you be interested in me looking into getting some more made? If we can do that. We can see if we can make that a thing. Of course, this one is for Vogel. My one is actually already on my pencil case, along with some other design team badges. And then these ones here are for family and friends. This badge here is from Rose, who's also part of the current design team. I say current, but we literally finish our term in about three days, but anyway. This one in particular isn't going to be finding its forever home with me, but I do have Rose's pin on the way to me in a separate order. While mine has silver around the outside, Rose's has gold around the design. And if we flip over, you can see it has the individual pin and the little label says, Stationery inspires me and the joy of creating something beautiful with my own two hands which is pretty cute. So that is our first collection of items from the box, the design team pins. Our next collection of items are the other accessories. So things like the acrylograph pins, so the summer and fall collection. We have the wax sealing kit from the autumn release or the fall release, and we have two different journal covers. So we'll look at the pins first. In the summer set of acrylographs, we have five colors, whereas in the fall collection, we have 10 and because they are paint pens, we are gonna have to give them a good shake. So might as well keep them in the box to do that. Moving you guys a little bit closer so you can see what we're doing. We're gonna do the summer pens first or the chasing summer set. And then we're gonna do the vintage dream or the fall collection. I don't really need to be super careful with the box because I'm not gonna be keeping them in the box. They're gonna go into my little acrylograph drawers. <coughs> Excellent, they have names on them, which is even better because I I just find it hard to actually tell the difference between some of them, if I'm completely honest. So having the names on the pins is something I find very helpful. So you can see we have a nice bright pink, which is called Raspberry Slushy, a kind of peachy color, which is called Watermelon Sorbet, a pale blue, which is called Boardwalk Blue, a kind of minty green, which is called Summer Sky, and a bright yellow, which is called Sunset Yellow. Give them a good shake. And then just reordering them so they're in an order that I actually like. <laughs> so they are the 0.7 millimeter nib, so that kind of thin tip as opposed to the kind of blunt tip that we get with the three millimeter that they don't really make anymore. I assume because they were not as popular. Ooh, let's move you out of the way. That's pretty. This is a very pretty pink. As you can see, I'm just swatching on an off cut from when I was making a Dutch door or something like that. We have to activate all the pins as we go. Da, 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 da. This color isn't what would come to mind immediately when I was thinking watermelon, but it actually does make a lot of sense as like a watermelon sorbet kind of color. A very nice bright yellow. 
and minty green is really pretty as well. I actually quite like this little collection. I think they're all really nice colors so far. Come on, blue. Take it home. The blue is kind of more like an icy blue. I think that my immediate thought is that it should be a bit more like saturated brighter, but I actually quite like it in the palette. So we have the Chasing Summer Acrylograph pens, which are a set of five fun and bright colors. Putting those guys to the side and having a look now at our Vintage Dream set. So this is the one that came with the full release. As you can see, the box is certainly bigger. We have 10 colors here with a little swatch on the back, but we are gonna swatch ours onto our little piece of paper. More shaking. I do very much appreciate the new containers that they're giving us for the acrylographs. They used to come in those really big, flat boxes that had a lot of wasted space. These ones are much more my style and they're nice and durable, so you can use them for desk organizers and stuff like that. But if we get these ones out, ah, uh, excellent. Again, we have those pen names on the pens. Let's just put them into an order that resonates with me. I do like the kind of muted tones, but we do have this one brighter tone. They're all very pretty though. Let's see, I feel like you should go here. You could go, mm, close enough, that looks good. So the first one we have here, this one is called Fire Brick, and it kind of looks like the cap is a different color to this little label on the barrel, so I'm interested to see what this swatch is like. We have Weathered Rose, which is another kind of red, a bit more subdued, but also darker. This one is called Pink Satin, but I kind of see it more as a brown, at least from the cap color, so interested to swatch this one too. We have Golden Spice, which kind of reminds me of like, a turmeric kind of cinnamon color, kind of a cross between the two. We kind of have a beigey peach color, which is called Melon Rouge. A mustard yellow, which is called Rome. A yellow green called Lily Pad. A kind of more olivey green color called Vintage Saddle. A very pretty green blue called Midnight Sapphire. And a more subdued darker blue called Pewter Blue. Again, we're just gonna swatch those out onto our little piece of paper and then have a look at our palette. As we swatch out the fall collection next to the summer collection, you can see a distinct difference in the palettes that we're working with. So the summer palette being a lot brighter and most of the colors being lighter, whereas the fall collection is a lot more muted and some darker colors. A pretty nice little palette though. I think my personal favorites are this one and that one and I actually quite like both of these greens. I think the yellow I needed to shake a little more before I swatched it, but they're all pretty cute. And of course the pack does come with a couple of spare nibs just if you need them. So we have the two packs of acrylographs, the summer collection and the fall collection. Up next we have the wax sealing kit. And now this one isn't actually for me, so I won't be opening it, but here you can see a picture of what that item actually looks like. So it has that really pretty deep green wax. And in terms of the little seal, that one is the same design as one of the notebooks that we're gonna be looking at called the Vintage Stack of Books. Very cute item and I'm sure that the person who this is going to is going to love it. The next items we have are the journal covers, which also are not gonna be staying with me, thus I won't be opening them. This one is an A5 clear journal cover, so it's that kind of plasticky feeling one. You can see it's got the little push button thing here to close your journal, keep it held together, and that one does have the little ampersand on it. And then the other one here is a B5 journal cover. Now, I know that people have been saying that this journal cover fits the old B5 journals really well, but for the newer B5 journals, you have to just slip one cover in, not both. Otherwise, I think it's a little too tight or something like that. I haven't tried it out myself. I don't have this one. And as said, this doesn't belong to me, so we won't be opening it. But if we flip it over, you can see that it does come with a very cute little charm here. So that's attached to the top but it's a really pretty design and I quite like the faux leather. Another two items which I'm sure will make their new owner very happy. The next collection of items that we have are not one, not two, but six notepads. You can see I certainly can't fit them all into frame at once, so we are gonna look at them one by one and we have one, two, three designs. Let's go from left to right. The first one we have here is the Artronol of Neapolitan notepad, which has white, black, and craft paper. This item is one that I kind of consider to be a staple in my collection. I use it a lot. So having this in stock is something that I appreciate. 
The next design we have is from the Summer Release, and this one is the Pastel Notepad. This one has six different colors, so pastel purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and pink. This one sold out super fast last time and I wasn't actually able to get my hands on it, so I was very glad that I could get it in this order. Yay for restocking! The third design is also from the summer release, but this one was called the Tutti Fruity Notepad. So it had a bright green, a kind of pale cream, a hot pink, a lighter pink, a light bright yellow, and then more of a golden yellow. I actually just love the color palette on this. It would just make a really nice paper pack to use for a monthly setup. So those are our three notepad styles across six notepads. There were a total of 21 notebooks in our order, and as mentioned, some of them were double ups. So we're just gonna look at the individual designs. For any of the designs that won't be staying with me and aren't ones that I have, we'll just have a look at the outside packaging and take the picture off the website and have a look at that one. But jumping in with our first notebook, this was one that I was super excited to get my hands on, and that is the coffee cup design from the Greater Good collaboration. I don't even like coffee, but I just like wanted this notebook because everybody was hyping it up and I got FOMO. But as you can see, it is a faux leather or vegan leather cover. We have a little coffee cup design in gold, no gilding on the edges, A5 notebook, 160 pages. And this was one that we had duplicates of. The next one was one of the Bring Back the Favorites collection. And this is the A5 rose gold dot grid notebook. This one has the little rose gold emblem on the front and the gold gilded edges on the side. I love page gilding. This one is super pretty. I actually just love the red. The red is like a deep, dark red, deep, dark. If we do a color comparison to the gliding swan journal that we had in the 2021 Valentine's Day box, you can see this one is much more of a bright red. This one's like a deep red. <sighs> Gorgeous. The other one that we had in the regular design of box was the Halloween Bat from the Halloween collection in 2020. This one is another faux leather or vegan leather notebook with 160 pages. And you can see we have holographic foiling on the bats and we have holographic gilding. <laughs> I love holographic gilding. <laughs> it's so pretty. One that I'm very excited to add to my collection. We did also have another Halloween design, which you may recognize in the Halloween box from 2021. And this one had the dragon icon. Another faux leather notebook with the holographic gilding and the holographic foiling on the icon. 160 pages, black. You can see it. I love the little dragon. Aww. Now onto the journals that came out as part of the full release. As you can see, we have six different designs here, but two of them I didn't actually get for myself. So we'll start by looking at those ones. The first one we have here is the vintage telephone. And as you can see, it is a very pretty pink color. The one that we got was an A5 size with 192 pages, 160 GSM paper, dot grid, all of the good stuff. Because I already have a lot of pinks in my collection, I didn't feel the need to get this one for myself, but I'm sure it will make its new owner very happy. The next design that I also didn't get for myself was the Globe Trotter, and you can see we got two different sizes for this one, so the A5 and the Travelers. I do like that on the box designs for the full collection, they put the icon on the journal, or the icon that's on the journal, in the cover, like the box has the icon on it. I feel like I'm explaining this poorly, but hopefully you can see what I mean. This one has a brown faux leather cover with 192 pages again, and the icon you can see has the little suitcase and the little globe, it's pretty cute. For the next one, we also got a variety of sizes again, so not just the A5, but also the Travelers and the Square. I only got the A5 for myself, but opening it up, you can see that the icon on this one is a stack of books with a candlestick and a little glass vial with some flowers. You can see that the journal doesn't come with the belly band on it. I don't like the term belly band, but the paper band has now been removed. The 192 page journals are certainly heavier <laughs> than the 160, which makes sense because there are more pages, but it is such a pretty color. It's like this kind of blue green, tealy kind of color. You can see the little icon there and the gold. We have white paper, pen loop, elastic closure. And the thing that was a bit exciting about this release was that they changed the design of the notebooks so that we have this kind of like trench on the side here. Let's see if we open it up. Which doesn't seem to change very much about the internal kind of functioning of the journal, but I am interested to actually get into one of these journals and see how it fares, like as you actually use it when you get kind of into the life of the journal. Such a pretty color. 
doing a little color comparison of this notebook compared to some of the other ones I have. So both of these are older designs from Archer and Olive, but you can see that it's kind of a mix between the two. It's kind of the darkness of this guy here, but then it's more of the hue of this one. This is the journal that I used at the start of this year. The next design I got was the Ink and Quill, which is probably the one that I was the most excited about. I really liked the color and I really liked the icon. You can see the color of this one is kind of like a gray blue, so a bit darker than the box color itself. But we have the little, oh, it's so cute, the little quill and the little vial of ink and sparkles. I love sparkles. The notebook is a very soft faux leather, vegan leather, whichever you like to call it. I love this. This is so gorgeous. The next one we have though is the phonograph design and this is the same icon that was on that charm that came on the B5 vegan leather cover. Opening that one up you can see it's kind of like a burnt cinnamon colour with the phonograph design in gold on the front. This is one of the linen cover designs from the full collection and again 192 pages, white dot grid. I think this one will work really well in the journal rainbow and that's mainly why I got it because it's kind of a very orange brown so it looks like a burnt orange and orange isn't something i have enough of in my rainbow speaking of orange the next design we have is the vintage camera which as the name suggests has a vintage camera on the front of it the orange on this one is a little bit brighter a little less burnt but it will make an excellent addition to the journal rainbow comparing the notebook side by side you can see this one's much more of a golden orange where this one's more of like a red orange or like a kind of cinnamon color they're both very pretty though and i'm excited to slot them in a huge range of goodies though and i cannot wait to get into the ones that are for me and send on the ones that are going to find their home elsewhere if you are looking to grab yourself something from this haul we do have links to all of the items in the description box below an excellent collection of goodies and I would love to know which one was your favorite item? Which one do you most want to steal? Of course you can go grab them for yourself from Archer and Olive and make sure to use Jashi Corinne 10 for 10% off because we love savings. If you are looking for more haul content then be sure to check out the playlist we have at the top here or if you're looking for some ways that I might be using some of these journals the video at the bottom is where it's at. As always team thank you for watching and until next time bye!